I'm a, I'm a window designer for the window, for this coming opera, for Doug Fitch, uh, with New York Philharmonic. Yoshi and I have built all sorts of stuff together. So we have a, we both sh understand each other's aesthetics. Yoshi has a, a kind of surrealistic quality to his work. And so do I, but it looks different, I would say. He thinks in a way that really, I don't know anybody else who thinks this way. He has a way of working with materials that make all the things have a feeling of they, that they've had an experience of their own. Like a tableau vivant, it's a frozen moment, and so it's the kind of perfect thing for a window like this in the New York Philharmonic. I kind of really wanted to, you know, bring this type of the miniature of the, the crystal bottle. I remember seeing the wind the, in your studio all that stuff with inside the jars, the water. Okay. And I just love those, that, the way that looked. The seashell with the eyelash. When you're using like this, the image become more like larger. It's like it's, everywhere there's a world, there's a little access or a mm. hole into another world. And uh, yeah. okay. everything's sort of the wrong scale or mm. always shifting scales. If that one graphical image behind, it's just like a... Uh, because this form of this uh, and round shape gives more like a lens. So it uh, seems like kind of the same image as me. Yeah, with a mouth with a clock. Seems that I kind of end with the world, you know, time actually, you know, to make it to the, and to the limit. So the skull and the candle that had burned down and an empty wine glass spilled, a book. All these things uh, were allegories for uh, how time is fleeting. If I'm going to use you know, the apple, I think it must be black. But I think that apple is quite like a, that's the first sign for in Adam and Eve, you know. Of course it's creepy, but it's at the meantime for me just like think about beauty. Something uh, mysterious. As an audience member, you have to kind of connect the dots here. People I think most of the people don't you know, recognize about what's going on by that window. And not everybody who goes up to the upstairs even necessarily notice that it's there. So I think if it's a special thing that Actually, did you see that thing down there? That was, what was that? I don't know, that's what, that's what we're going for. Mm -hmm. The feeling that there's an, a work of art somehow hovering in the middle of the lobby space. <laughs>